Welcome back to Board Games Daddy. Uh, today, a game that is very dear to me. Um, the Manhattan Project Energy Empire. This is a game from Minion Games, five players, and it's a worker placement around which the topic is producing energy in the most cleanest way possible and get money and points from, from that. Um, I don't know if Manhattan Project is a, a, a kind of board game franchise where you have many titles. I think there are some other things. So this is the Energy Empire one. Uh, I don't know the differences. Uh, I know this one has an expansion, but basically it, this box is so big and heavy. It's still un unpunched, so I'm going to show you as it comes out the, of, of the box and from factory although it doesn't have a string so let me just read it to you a little bit here in the manhattan project energy empire you are the world a world leader making pivotal decisions to guide your nation to prosperity build power plants generate energy and use your resources wisely that's the theme of the game where should i go how should i go pros and cons of different types of energy nuclear pros green pro coal pro fossil etc Strengthen your industry, commerce, and government, all while dealing with global impacts and the threat of environmental ruin. Standalone, work placement game, I don't know, standalone, okay, so you don't need anything else, that's why it's standalone. With innovative twists, including custom dice, custom dice, or dice, in general, you cannot customize them, you can choose which to use. Use those workers and energy to generate power and overexpanding expanding collection of structures. Let's take a look at the side here, so we can see people on the moon, I don't know what this is, a pipeline here, metal, uh, metal industry there, so shipyards, nuclear plant, no, is this nuclear? It seems like a laboratory, but the guy is with the hazmat suit, now there's the nuclear factory there. Okay, so let's open, it's a big box, I had to pull my camera big back because you know, in order to capture everything. It's a very big box. Okay, so I bought the game without ring, so I don't know why some of the things are already in punch. But let's try to find out where everything is. So the Manhattan Project, Energy Empire. So I guess the first impression I get when I read Manhattan Project is this related with the atomic bomb or or not, right? So there must be another Manhattan Project game older that is created related with the atomic bomb. And so they kept the same brand here, but they call this Energy Empire to do something different. And it's a big manual, and I believe everything's in English, so it's all related with the same game. We'll have the commodities to use, workers as a worker placement, the type of energies. And then there will be some events that will cause impact, global impacts on the game. Lots of things. Lots of things. Okay, so this is a good example on how things work. So the dice, this is the green energy dice and it produces less energy and then you have the water energy, the coal energy, you know, oil or coal, or oil and coal, and then the atomic. And the more pollution or radiation the energy produces also the more energy you can have sorry the more the more energy the more pollution right so it's a balance between using green sources but also producing less energy because then you will start populating your environment with pollution and that will count as negative things towards you and your your game Sounds boring, but it's very interesting. And I, I hope that I, when showing you the boards, etc., and the cards, you will have the same feeling as I, as I am, as I have, because this is a very cool game. And you also have like goals, which are here are called achievements. So these are goals and end of the end of the game goals, right? That uh, you shall try to aim for them to have for extra points. That's it. Okay. So I'm really waiting to unpunch everything. So we have the pollution. Some scientific symbols, I believe. 
mining, not mining, uh, drilling for oil. Some of the achievements. So let's see the achievements. So if you could award winning one victory point if you hold it. Ah, so this is one victory point for each achievement you have. Clean air. Victory point if you have your hair clean. If you have a commercial structure, a government structure. If you have how one victory point for each resource type held. Okay, so if you have like one of them, one one for each, just need one. One for each type of die you have, okay. Reserves, money. And then the workers, so this is a worker placement, don't forget that. And the workers are not wooden meeples, they are for five players, they are these these guys who look like what do they look like? This guy is the Asmat suit guy. This is a engineer or someone from maintenance. This woman here is carrying um, glass vials, maybe some chemist, chem, chemi, chemist, chemical engineer, some supervisors, some. What's happening here? She has a walkie talkie on her hand. That's all. Yeah, so she's also someone that needs to communicate with other people and another kind of engineer. And there are the energies there. Okay, so this is. Oh, this is a, thuck, a thicker board. Yeah, you can see. I thought it were two boards glued to each other, but no. Oh, look at the difference. So these tokens are very thin, but these ones will be very thick. Very thick. Why? I've never seen boards with different thickness in games. They usually they have everything the same. Okay, and then the player boards. So you have. What do we have here? So the commodities, where you hold them before spending, then your environment here, in water, land and air, then the achievements that you gather, your workers stay here, and these, I don't remember what it is, and for the die, okay, so each of them with their own player color, let's open the board now. We'll see the rest on top of the board. Well, surprisingly, the board is not that big for a box so heavy as this one. So yeah, what do we have here? So there, there is the United Nations, which is something that if you invest, it's a track that you'll get the points. And if you are the first, you'll get most points. So if you're the leader in the United Nations, and then you go around the board in terms of points, and you have the governmental buildings, as we saw, which if you go here, you can, in each of these spaces, you have an action. And in each of these spaces, you also have these actions. And these are the industry buildings. And these are the commercial buildings where you have money, you trade, etc. Then there, are, there is also power plant action here that you can do. And I don't remember what this is. The New York Times. The New York Times. I don't remember what it is. And then the achievements are here. Okay. And now look at the fun stuff here. So the commodities are you have the steel, which is wood painted in silver, the oil. Oops. Oh, the bag is ripped apart. I need to replace that. This bag is gone. And let me put that on the side. And then there is this. I think this is. Mm, I don't know what this is. It, let me check the menu. It's not jello. Gelatin is plastic. So, yeah, plastic cu cubes for a resource that is really plastic in the game. Plastic. And then the, the wooden discs for the players. Back here, okay, and then I love these dice because they are really cool. You have the green ones, which don't pollute, you don't have pollution symbols here, but then compare with coal here, you see the amount of pollution they generate, and then oil, and then the nuclear, they produce lots of energy, but they also give radiation, and the blue ones are the the hydro, hydro energy, the ones that come from. 
barrage and stuff. Coins, yep. And then the achievements, here they are. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at them. We saw some examples in the manual, but... Says achievement maximum five stars. One VP for structure that you have that has a arrow. Some of them will have arrows. One per each plastic cube. One per each science token. One per each steel. One VP per nuclear contamination in your environment. So yeah, you can. Maybe there's a strategy where you invest in nuclear and you get points from here. And then one, one VP per worker minus one. One VP for each two coins, typical. Um, one VP for unpolluted forest environment. One VP for industrial structures, oil. One VP if you've moved the track on the United Nations, I guess this one is. No, per space, okay, per space. So that's good if you go all the way in United Nations, if you have clean water and PP for each oil well on land or and sea. Okay, plus one extra. Okay, now we still have the cards. We still have the cards, many, many decks. So these are the buildings. The buildings will be extra actions when you go there with your with your with your workers and then you need to energize so you need to put the worker the worker placement and then when you have this symbol you also need to use energy to energize them that's why you produce energy it's to energize so I'll need to get my scissor pushing is in order to open all these cards card bags we are starting with the global events, how they will impact everything. From time to time, I don't remember how often, how frequent and what triggers. But from time to time, they trigger. They, they do nasty stuff. Oh, there's also here the player guides. And... Oh, there are two stages. Early and late. So let's start by going to the early ones. Oh, and I forgot this as well. So, good thing that I'm taking a look at this. So, you represent the country. So you are building the electrical energy um, structure and engine for a specific country. So you pick or randomly distributed and you have this initial set setup and then you have this extra action on your faction that only you have. So for example, Germany, if you pay steel and oil, they can go up once on United Nations. And then the US start with this and that so there's always a way to, to go up on the united nations and it's just paying this specific cost soviet union starts with an extra die with a die already great britain france france is very nuclear there japan japan in plastic here iraq wow only oil india and they, they have many workers available right China, the same thing, and Canada, 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 Canada. So I can comment because I don't know exactly all these countries in that level of detail to comment if this is realistic or not. Anyway, um, and then the events. So the early events, so oil boom. Immediately, each player may drill for oil as if the oil drilling board, as if using the oil drilling board. So you can, if you want, you can do this, or move oh, the moon landing. And need, until another global impact card is triggered, players may freely discard science tokens. One VP is gained by the player for each science token. Okay, so if you have many science tokens, you can get rid of them. And 
empires. Industrialization, okay, imperialism, the free trade, the civil rights, okay. Immediately, each player chooses to either gain one worker or one vic uh, five victory points. Wow. Cheap importers, automation, and the atomic age. Wow, so cool. And then later on. Okay, so these, these were good things. And then late they come the bad things by the end of the second part of the game or something. Like, for example, each the pandemic. Each player takes any one of the workers and places it on this card. The worker remains on this card until that player pays one science. Okay, so it's a pandemic, the guy gets sick and you need to pay science to get rid of him, to, to release him. The nuclear fallout. The nuclear disaster. Three of the... Each player chooses three pollution tokens and they flip the nuclear. The market crash. We need to pay more for structure. The diplomatic crisis. The chemical spill. So cool. It's a great game. And now let's see the governmental buildings, what we have here. Okay, containment facility, work corps, the nuclear reaction, national resources, environmental agency, canal, science lab, national park, enrichment facility, work corps again. Okay, so some of them repeat. Oh, wait, wait a second, they say two here, two, maybe they are recommended for two players, no, it's the ones that are repeated, they have copies, they are signed, the signal like two, the lunar landing, space program, healthcare system, nuclear agency, materials research, public infrastructure, Science Academy and clear again and science and materials research. Okay, now let's go for the industries. Let's see what is the best way to go inside this pack. So, small steel mill, hazmat team, chemical plant, the railroads, iron mine, plastic factory, oil pipeline, small steel mill, uranium mine, modernized factory, chemical plant, railroad, iron mine, steel mill, oil pipeline, super tanker. Uranium mine, supply chain, composites manufacturer, energy company, a landfill, steel mine, recycling center, energy company, plastics, and a computer factory as well. Only one to go. And these are the commercial buildings. The commercial buildings. I'm seeing that this corner is really asking for it. So, tra.
Mm, I got it. I'm opening it. The stock market. Import company. The bank. The highway. The farm. A fishery. Amusement park. Mass transit. The airport. The oil broker. Shopping mall. Highway. Farm. The news network. The bank. Mass transit. Airport again. Port. Warehouse. A resort. Engineering firm, gas station, warehouse, import company, stock market, and a publishing house. Yep, those were the commercial buildings. Cool. So this was the Manhattan Project Energy Empire. There is an expansion. I would love to bring the expansion as well, but I don't own it yet. I'm going after it. And uh, so I hope you enjoy. And if you are into board games, you just found this video on this channel, I invite you to check channel because i truly believe there will be more things that you you will be interested board games in general card games other stuff and leave a like share subscribe and be part of this community see you on the next video thank you goodbye